Welcome to Ranimator Reviews. I'm Ran, and today I'm going to talk about a movie called Antrim. I found out about this movie from my mindless hours of scrolling on TikTok, so it finally paid off. I really, really like TikTok, aside from that. I kept seeing something popping up saying this is the most possessed or horrible or evil movie there is out there. You know, it will follow you and it will whatever. Just really hyping up this movie, really, you know, we all know those movies that you see when they're coming out. Scariest movie made ever. People are passing out vomiting. So I had to check out this movie because when I did watch it, it was still 2020. And I had that thought, the world's already burning. Why not? Why not just push it a little bit more? I did find this movie streaming on Amazon. The beginning of this movie is more of a documentary or a mockumentary, I suppose, because it's not, I don't believe that it's actual found footage. It's not. And it is people's personal recounts of, you know, when they were streaming the movies in small festivals. All this weird stuff kept happening. People were freaking out. There was a fire. Apparently, they lost the films for quite some time. Then they unearthed the films. They were going to show them in a small theater where one of the ushers decided to just dose everyone without them knowing. So, obviously, watching a weird found footage movie from the 70s when you're on a psychedelic and you're not prepared to be on that psychedelic, you're not going to have a good time. That's just... That's just a horrible recipe for disasters. So people were trampled. I think someone had passed away. All this bad stuff. So obviously this film company wanted to get all the recounts, try to get some information about the background of the movie, which they claim to be found footage, before they actually play said found footage film. So they have recounts from different directors and everything. And it kind of made me think like London After Midnight. They say they only ever showed that once. There's no surviving copies of that. They have a few cells that are still remaining from the film. But it was so disturbing that they just shut that shit down and set it on fire, never to be seen again. And I really, really want to see that movie because it sounds amazing and the stills look so good. It probably wouldn't be scary in the now time because back then in ye old times, people weren't used to seeing such horrific stuff every day and having horror movies so readily available. But anyways, so there's the interview portion, first part of this movie, and then they get into the film. So this film is a, mostly about a brother and a sister they had to put the family dog down and the brother is very concerned that her soul did not go to heaven because obviously he's never watched the gem that is All Dogs Go to Heaven, which is both a feel-good movie and also rip your heart out and just stomp the shit out of it. I remember that from my childhood. I feel as though maybe that would add just a little bit to this movie because then you'd also have that nostalgia depression. But... The sister, who's a great deal older than the brother, decides to take him into the woods to go down through the levels of hell to find the dog's soul and bring it back. And I don't really know what the purpose of that is. I don't really know too much about, you know, Christianity's beliefs with layers of hell and whatnot. I don't remember a lot of Dante, Dante's Inferno, unfortunately, but I do recognize a lot of the... Uh, characters that were, they were talking about. So I followed that at least. And during this found footage, there are little blips of images and clips that they put in there, obviously, to mess with you, to make you feel unsettled. So just going to leave it off here as it is spoiler free. What did I like about this movie? Not much, honestly. I'm not a fan of found footage that's obviously not found footage. They really overhyped this movie way too much in the beginning and have my expectations up so high 
that I was just, oh, that's it? Like, that's, there's a lot of build up. There's not a lot of payoff. And I don't know if that's just me, you know, being desensitized to seeing all of these movies that are allegedly the scariest movie ever. But I was just, I was left kind of like, oh, so that's it. Cool. Um, I mean, I appreciate what they were trying to do. I appreciate that they were kind of generating this urban legend, which is cool. I appreciate that. As I said, I just really want to see London After Midnight, and I have no idea if that movie sucks. I have no idea if that's the scariest movie I've ever seen, so I can definitely appreciate the direction they were going. I mean, I'm just going to go on to the dislikes. There was an extended scene. This isn't giving anything away, but there's like a demon face that's looking at you. If, if you're new, I'm visually impaired and I had to have the groom who I forced to watch this with me because we're going to be cursed. We're going to be cursed together. What is that? Is it a blank screen? I can vaguely see, you know, the shape of something. Had no idea what it was. Obviously, a lot of movies are not made to cater to people that are visually impaired, but that was supposed to be one of the, the most unsettling parts of this movie, and I couldn't be unsettled because I couldn't figure out what it was. Personal gripe, but I'm going to put it in here. I felt like I wanted to punt the kid just straight across the forest. He was so annoying. And I feel like I'm so hard on child actors, but just nothing about him made me want him not to be dragged to the innermost part of hell to get him to stop talking or making weird faces. This makes me sound like such a bad person, but like he's a, this is his job. This is what he chose. I don't know if he was supposed to be this annoying. And I felt like I still feel kind of guilty saying it, but like, fuck that kid. He was just, the fact that he was so annoying was a huge distraction. And the fact that he was just doing everything the opposite of what his sister was suggesting was just like, dude, this is how you get dragged to hell by a demon because you're not listening. Brush your damn teeth. Like, that's part of the movie. So... That took me out of the movie a whole lot. I felt as though the, like I said, the, the quick shots of things is so played out. Don't, don't put that in your movie when it's 2000, I think it was from 2019 that this was released. Like, you should know better than to use these kinds of tactics in movies now because no one's going to fall for it and be like, oh, what was that? Slow it down. Like, no, I don't care. It just seems like a very cheap way to get a reaction out of someone. Um, I feel like, I don't know, I wouldn't recommend this movie to anyone. I feel as though I seriously question the people that recommended this movie on TikTok overhyping it. Like, what, what do you watch on the day-to-day -day that this is the scariest movie to you or most disturbing movie to you? disappointed, did watch it, but I don't know if you want to check it out. It's on Amazon Prime. Let me know your thoughts. I'm going to give this like a 0.5 out of 5. I just felt like really let down when it finished. I just not a fan. And I rarely say that about any movie that I can't find anything I like about it. So that says a whole lot. Um, have you seen this movie? What are your thoughts? Leave me a comment down below. Like the video if you did like the video, or you could like the video if, uh, I got nothing. It's raining outside. Cool fact. If you haven't yet, please do subscribe to the channel. I'd love to have you. You can find me on Facebook at Reanimator Reviews, Twitter, Instagram, and now TikTok at Reanimator. You can find my reviews with the groom and solo, uh, in iTunes on iTunes, in podcast form. Thank you to the Farsighted Network. Please don't forget to check out all of their awesome creators and content as well. And I am very rusty still trying to do my outro, but I hope everyone is having a wonderful day and I'll see you later. Bye.